Hello everybody, Ginger Giant here, and I just kind of want to take a moment to let you all know that I'm not quite dead yet. I just had to take a small break due to uh, finals, final projects, and also settling into a new job. And uh, as it turns out, I actually have a lot of stuff to talk about here, so... I'm even gonna go as far as to throw up a little informative banner on what all needs to be talked about. Oh, down there on the bottom of the screen. You can click on it, there's annotations in case you want to skip or go to any relevant information in any order you like. But, you know, a lot of information, so let's just dig right in, shall we? So let's just go ahead and start off with this new job here, first and foremost. So, basically, over the last semester, as you may have seen over Twitter, I was uh, part of a class where the entire class works together on a single video game. And this video game was Dwindle, a psychological survival game set in an old 1902 of mine. And, uh, yeah, so that went really well. So well, in fact, that we decided to start a company, and uh, I ended up getting hired on as an intern to assist, it, uh, assist in the development over summer. If you want any more details on it, you can see a link down below to our Steam Greenlight page. And if you want to go check that out and give us a vote, that would be amazing. We're actually doing really well so far. Like, surprisingly so, in my opinion. And, uh, but yeah, if you want to go down there, check out the game, help us out a little bit, that would be fantastic. Of course, if you go over there, you'll also know that there's a Kickstarter, and this is where things get awkward, because I'm stuck on a double-edged sword of assisting with the development in this game, and knowing the producer watches my YouTube videos, where the other end of the sword is the fact that I am a YouTuber, and selling out's generally a bad thing. <laughs> like, a really, really bad thing. So I will take this moment to remind you all of the horrors and the risks of Kickstarter. Do not back this project just because my name is on it. For the love of God, do not. I'm going to ask that if you go to this Kickstarter page, you remove any notion of me from it, just read through it all, scrutinize it yourself, and only back if you honestly feel that uh, it is a worthwhile project that you can support, alright? Do not just support it because of me. I do not want to be one of those sellout YouTubers. But again, feel free to check it out. And uh, so yeah, that's that's most of that stuff there. I did work on the uh, the, the Greenlight trailer and the Kickstarter trailer. I did most of the, uh, the recording, the uh, scripting, and basically all of the editing as well. So go check that out if you want. Be sure to leave some, some feedback for that. As well as some feedback for the pages for uh, Greenlight and Kickstarter, because I did organize most of that as well. But uh, yeah, so there's that. And with the work out of the way, we can start to talk about YouTube once again. Which, I mean, work into YouTube is basically a summation of how my summer's gonna be, isn't it? Anyways, so let's play, starting off with that. XCOM 2 Alien Hunters DLC released, right in the middle of my finals and final projects. And honestly, the, the, the due date, or release date, caught me by surprise. I didn't realize just how quickly Alien Hunters was coming out. I know they, I'm pretty sure they posted the release dates from the start, but you know how time is, it, it just flies! But uh, long, long time, long war viewers will, will probably be thankful in that I don't plan on restarting the campaign. Um, yeah, I, I just don't see much of a purpose for it. We're not very far in the game at all, and the game is more than open and willing to accept the fact that you can enable the Alien Hunters DLC mid-game. So no issues should arise there, unless of course you guys want me to restart. If you guys want me to restart, let me know, and I'll totally do it. But for right now, I just plan on continuing from where we currently are, which is basically nowhere story-wise. I don't even think we've done the black side yet, or black site yet. And we're only just getting into mag tier, so we'll just start from there, we'll activate alien hunters, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Otherwise, Dark Souls 3 should be starting up soon. Like, very soon. Like, I kind of want to start recording that as soon as I'm done recording this update. So, uh, yeah. That's... that'll be fun. We'll start doing that. It won't be blind. It will be, uh, it will be a knowledgeable playthrough, but I plan on... plan on having some fun. I've got a build set up. Also plan on, uh, integrating online a lot more. Because I, I realized I was basically offline for all of my Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 LPs. I plan on fixing that. Uh, that's the main stuff for Let's Plays, though. So now for the exciting news things! News things? News? No, we're not hanging my channel. I said we're not dead, we're not dying. The new things. So I've been trying to brainstorm some, uh, some new series, and realistically speaking, I was brainstorming these over, uh, finals and final projects, since I couldn't really record videos, but I still had enough time to try and, like, brainstorm ideas. And I came out with, uh, two ideas, three ideas, actually, that I, uh, I was really kind of a big fan of a plan on pursuing. 
First one here is, what has my college done? So, as was uh, stated previously, I do of course go to a college that studies game design. And as the capstone, or the, uh, the final course in the degree, the graduates have to create and release a fully public commercial game. Now, one thing I found is that 99.9% .9 of these games all tend to be free. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there on the internet who like to compare games, whether out of satire or very rarely quite seriously, to uh, college level projects. And I figured, let's make a series that actually looks like college projects. You know, I feel like that there, there could be some, some interesting discoveries there going on. So I've been going through and I've accumulated a, uh, a list of potential projects, both from current and old graduates, that we'll be able to play through, explore. They will be blind first impressions, because, I mean, most of these games probably aren't deep or long enough to really warrant a full impression, general impression style video. So it'll be blind first impressions. We'll go on, we'll see how we feel. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about the rules when we actually get to it, but in general, college projects. We're gonna focus on those. For right now, they're gonna be from my college, might, uh, if, if it catches on though, we might try and look at other colleges, who knows. That That's, again, very dependent on it catching on. Um, what else do we have here? We got Dragon's Challenge. These are going to be 30 minute first impressions. I boot up a game, we give it 30 minutes, I think it's still a rough number. I, I kind of like 30 minutes though, it's a nice round. I might go 25 just so I have 5 minutes to discuss my findings, but either way, it's a first impression series on a timer. And uh, we're going to play until the time is up, and after that, I, uh, I, I state my final thoughts on the game, and we uh, we cut it off there. Some people might note that this is quite similar to Toll Biscuit's 15 minutes of game, and that's because it is. I uh, Again, I, I, I was think thinking and brainstorming these back during finals, which was back when Total Biscuit's 15 minutes of game was basically dead as it could be. And now, two or three weeks ago, he rebooted the series, so everything just got really awkward. That being said, I still really like the format, and I want, kind of want to take my uh, my own twists on it. Give games a little bit more time, but I like the whole game show idea of it, where it's just like, you have this amount of time to impress me. Go! You know, I, re I really like that, so we're probably going to do that. And uh, as for what that's going to do, I mean, it's, we're primarily going to focus on, like, games that I've got a relative passing interest in, maybe some older Steam games that I have hanging around, but haven't really played much of, or at indeed any of at all, and some game demos that I've been getting sent occasionally as well. So, yeah, uh, that's the main plans there. As for the third series, I was thinking of a Doom Snap Map series. I, I recently finished my second Doom playthrough on Nightmare on uh, livestream just the other weekend, and uh, oh, actually, I think it was just this weekend, come to think of it. So, I was thinking, I, I really want more of it. And Ultra Nightmare playthrough on YouTube really doesn't sound like a good idea at all. <laughs> I might stream some Ultra Nightmare attempts, but definitely not on YouTube. So what can I do on YouTube? Snap Map! It seems like a powerful tool. I still need to do a lot of digging in this. This is still a, a very sketchy, in-the-works series. It might never even come to fruition at all, but I kind of like the idea. Because, for those of you who will recall, my channel was originally founded on uh, mods for FTL. And Snap Map seems to be a, a similar niche where it's a game I love, it's mods for the game I love that don't o completely overhaul it, but are still a uh, an interesting thing to discover. And uh, I haven't really done too much digging, but I can't imagine it's got too popular of a, a YouTube content creation scene right now. But yeah, so I'll dig through that, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine, but yeah. So those are the, uh, the, the main new series that I plan on looking out for. So, streaming. Now that my schedule has stabilized a little bit, and I really, really need to start getting back into the swing of things, I'm gonna set myself a schedule once again. Because, I mean, for the next two months, the schedule will be allowed to be in place, and it will stay in place, and everything will be beautiful and dandy. And, honestly, even once we hit my fall semester, I don't think it'll change too much, considering my fall semester right now is basically a cakewalk. It's all a bunch of bullshit electives that I just had to get out of the way, so... Now's the time to set a schedule again, methinks. So, for streams, right now we're gonna roll with Tuesday, 7pm MST. That is, 9pm EST. I apologize, I don't get off work till 6pm MST. So, I wanna give myself an hour to get home, to get rested up, and then we can start streaming again. And, uh, once more, Thursday at 7pm MST. Same time, again. And, uh, Saturday! So, you know, for my European viewers, or people who just don't want to stay up till 12 o'clock midnight, 
on the East Coast. Uh, we're going to start streaming at 4 p.m. MSC on Saturday. And of course my Twitch channel is generally blind let's plays of whatever the hell I damn well please. We've done everything from Star Fox Zero to Final Fantasy to Doom. Obviously we just did that the other day. I do everything. Retro new. I did a Home Alone 2 stream on my SNES. That was a fucking nightmare. We almost beat it surprisingly, but uh, I don't plan on going back to that again. But again, that's just to give you a, a general range. We play literally anything and everything. It's a fun party. You just hang out and chat. We have a good time. And so there's that. There's our little schedule there. Again, you can check it out in the description. I'm sure it got splayed out on the screen right now as well. And uh, yeah, go check that out. And last and probably least here for most of you, I have a WordPress account, and I've actually had a WordPress account for like the past eight months, I just never used the bloody thing for some reason or another. I initially founded it as just a way to make a portfolio, make a portfolio that's easily accessible, easily viewable, you know, just having a dandy old time with that. But I kind of want to do more with it, because it's really just been standing idly by for seven months. There's cobwebs everywhere. It's horrific. You don't want to look at it right now. So I'm probably going to go ahead and revive it here with a, a little series I wanted to do. So just for some context, one of my courses last semester, the final, actually involved grabbing a name from a website known as the Video Game Name Generator, which you click a button, gives you a completely random and off-the-wall video game name, and in the final we basically had to roll with that, design a game around it, and uh, go from there. And it was a lot of fun. The most fun I've ever had during a final. I realized I just compared that to college finals, so really that's not saying a whole lot in terms of fun, but I assure you it was actually quite enjoyable and I want to keep doing it, so I'm thinking every Sunday I'm going to pull a name from the random video game name generator, I'm going to design a game around it, and I'm thinking for now I might bring up a graphical user interface or a heads up display uh, mock-up or wireframe to go alongside it because I also rather enjoy designing user interfaces, so you know that way we get a whole lot of a whole lot of a little pa a little bit of practice for game design, for user interface design, and just you know hanging out, having a good time because that is surprisingly fun. So that'll be happening on WordPress. I'll tweet out every time one occurs. You can follow WordPress manually. You can follow me on Twitter. Either way, I'm not gonna mention those on with YouTube videos because that's just gonna happen every Sunday, and that that'll just get weird and spammy sometimes. I feel. So there's that. Um. I might also just use the website for just game design ramblings. I might post videos on those, depending on how I feel. But things like the Star Fox Zero Control Scheme, which I am very torn on. That's a very weird subject for me. And uh, there's also things like, you know, Doom Reloading that I wanted, wanted to be talking about. So, you know, just general ramblings about how games are designed, my, my opinions on modern game design, stuff like that. I'll just type those up there. I might make videos on those. I might not. I'm still not decided. But basically, I'm using the WordPress blog as an actual blog, is what I'm trying to say here. But it's a game design oriented blog, which is why you guys should care about it. At least a little bit. At least some of you. <laughs> Either way, though, I think that's all for what for now. That was a lot of information. As I said, I had a lot of thoughts over the past couple of weeks, so there's that. Hopefully, we'll get back to regular content creation by Tuesday, I'm hoping, at the, at the, uh, at the latest. Streams will be occurring regularly, Dark Souls 3 LP will be happening soon, XCOM 2 should re-engage not long after. I'd also like to at least get one What Has My College Done and uh, Dragon's Challenge done this week as well, so... Full play, isn't it? Oof. Well, thank you all for stopping by, thank you all for watching, and uh, again, be sure to check all the links out down below if you're interested in anything I said, and I will see you all later.